Hey guys, welcome back to Spirit of Skip. I'm your music enthusiast, Sarah Nelson. Macklemore finally released an, a new album titled This Unruly Mess I've Made, which is not just an ironic title. The whole album is actually a damn mess. Macklemore usually has a great track list, but in this case, most of the songs on the album belong in the trash. Let's break a few of them down. Downtown is his biggest single from the album, and it's just a disaster. The whole song is basically about him finding a man on the street who sells him a scooter that he then rides through downtown with his girl, and then Eric Nally comes in to sing the chorus talking about feeling the warm embrace of a leather seat between your legs. It sounds so unreal, but I can assure you those are the actual lyrics to the song. It's a disappointment. Although the album has its fair share of misses, he has some respectable songs like Light Tunnels, which is about how corrupt Hollywood is. He says, they want Britney Spears to make out with Madonna. They want Kanye to rant and to go on longer, because that equates to more dollars. I really enjoy Light Tunnels because it's like a big middle finger to the entertainment industry. And my favorite song on the album, Kevin, starts out to sound like a happy, upbeat, soulful song, but all of a sudden you get hit with the hard-hitting lyrics about how doctors overprescribe addictive medications to their patients, making them fall so dependent on them that they drive themselves off the edge. Along with the rather dark lyrics, we are all blessed with the angelic voice of my man, Leon Bridges. Even though he also has some dark lyrics, like, we're in the waiting room and something ain't right. All this is on you, we're overprescribed. It's impossible not to feel it and move with it. Now that, we've, now that I've gotten the only two good songs out of the way, let's get back to Macklemore's unruly mess of an album. Let's Eat is just bad. It sounds like a fun song, kind of like Thrift Shop, but it actually makes fun of that friend we all have who says they will go to the gym and start eating right, but they never really do. I do admit that I am that friend, and I feel that song on a spiritual level, but I still don't know how I feel about it. I told a friend of mine that Macklemore had a new album out, and they asked me, Macklemore still makes music? Joke's on them, he never did. He just talks to a beat and writes tracks that feature other musicians who are better than him. I don't know what it is about Macklemore's music, but his tracks sound cheap. Kind of like he found them in a thrift shop, in the back, with the stuff that's been there for five years where no one goes. That's all I have to say about this one. I'm Sarah Nelson. Thanks for hanging with me.